G'day trendsetters, I'm John with Gravel Cyclists coming to you today with a feature video of sorts, not the T-Lab X3.22. There's already been a review about that particular bicycle. This bike is shot with Shimano GRX Di2 and also Shimano's GRX Carbon Wheels review coming soon. Inside this box is Shimano's limited edition mechanical variant of GRX. So it's shiny. So without further claptrap, let's pop open the box and see how it looks. Well, hello Tuesday. This is my helper, Tuesday, hanging out by the pool helping me. GRX Limited. Let's pull all of these boxes from the bigger box and crack open every package. That's nice. Don't you just love this? I try to present a bike part, the bloody dog comes over and starts licking my hand. Please exit the scene, dog. Here is the front derailleur. This part here, not polished, looks to be painted. And as I mentioned earlier, this is mechanical GRX. And if you want to see a no bullshit long term review of GRX mechanical and DI2 for that matter, be sure to check out the links in the description below. But this gives you a pretty good look at the front derailleur, the limited edition variant. Next up, the rear derailleur, mechanical variant. You can see the body and the knuckle area and the cage are all quite shiny. It doesn't look to be a polished finish, this might be cast, I'm not 100% sure, but still it's an attractive finish regardless. Has the clutch as you would expect. That's also on the regular version of GRX Mechanical and the DI2 variant. And the cage, the backside, it is a silver finish, but it's just not polished or whatever finishing treatment Shimano has chosen for this particular derailleur. This big box is the crank set. And, well, this is a pretty standout bit of gear. In fact, I'll move the camera in a moment so we can check out this version of the crank set versus the regular GRX crank set. Same 48 and 31 tooth chain rings. This is almost too good to get dirty or banged up for that matter. 172.5 length, same machining and so on, enabling that fantastic shifting on the front derailleur. The all-important non-drive side crank arm. Let's bring in the crank so we can see them both together. Hopefully that's in focus. This really is a nice looking bit of kit. Do you need it? No, but it certainly makes the right bike pop. And there's a good chance I'm going to install this onto some kind of project bike. I quite like building interesting project bikes from scratch, if you haven't figured that out already especially if you're a regular to this YouTube channel website and more. And here we have a very well used GRX traditional finish crank set and the limited edition crank set. I expect this would look pretty sweet on this T-Lab X3.22. 
Although if I do install this, I'm going to make sure to cover these beautiful crank arms with what they call helicopter tape, I think it is. Anyway, the thin, transparent, protective tape sticks on, protects nice finishes such as this one from getting banged up, which is a pretty common thing on the gravelly roads less traveled. There's not a lot to this group set. The cassette is not limited edition and the chain, 11 speed chain is not limited edition. Final piece is the dual control STI shifters or whatever vernacular they're going by these days. Just don't call them brifters. I hate that terminology. It's up there with the other word, compliance. Ugh, moving on. <laughs> this is some very fancy limited packaging, I'll say that. So we each sub box contains a brake lever and I assume a brake caliper. And here is the left side GRX limited edition shifter, which handles the duties of braking and shifting the front derailleur. Rear brake caliper, and it matches nicely with the limited edition shifter. Let's twirl it around a smidge for your viewing pleasure. This should be the right side shifter. Yes, it is. Same luscious finish as the left side. In fact, I'll bring the left side into the picture. Uno momento. There we are. Right side, left side. Well, opposite for you folks watching this video. And of course, the corresponding brake caliper. All right, next let's line them all up and see how they look together. And here it is, a pretty much complete GRX limited edition drivetrain crank set, brakes, front derailleur, rear derailleur, chain, not limited, 1134 cassette, not limited, and of course, the shifter brake levers, hydraulic, with mechanical shifting. So there you have it, my presentation of sorts of Shimano's limited edition GRX mechanical group set designed for the gravelly roads less traveled. As always, thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the Gravel Cyclist YouTube channel for interesting content such as this. No bullshit. Gravel bike reviews, other product reviews, ride experience videos, and of course my favorite, general madness. Ha ha ha! Yes, as all of it is released to the channel. I'll see you in the next video.